actually terrified what no scooter's gonna come out tonight. Excellent mirror. Anybody on your right? It's coming up very, very nice. Very nice mirror check. Well done. That was really good. He looks so serious. <laughs> well I just saw him coming towards me and I was like, hell no. That was good, that was good. I liked it. Okay, well done. I wasn't too sure if you would. Welcome to Two Day Pass. We are joined by Lily Rose today. Hi. Lily Rose is learning to drive in London. Would you give us a quick background check on your history of driving? Yeah, I started to learn to drive maybe about five years ago and I gave up because I got too flustered, but I'm back again, ready to learn. Cool. And what did you cover five years ago? What have you covered in general? Um, I've done most things. The only thing I do struggle with is roundabouts and junctions. So. Sounds about right, everybody's yeah. the same, yeah. <laughs> especially roundabouts, okay? Yeah. We're not going to have many roundabouts today, but in today's video, we're going to go through the whole syllabus with Lily Rose. We'll show you everything that you need to know in order to learn to drive, but also to pass your driving test. Yeah. And that's what we're going to have at the end of this. We're going to have your driving test, and we're going to see you pass your driving test. <laughs> I hope so. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to get started now. Basic routine for moving off. It's the first thing that anybody learns to do yeah. after they've done their cockpit drill and got ready and comfortable. I'm not going to go through all of that. We'll yeah. be here for half an hour. <laughs> really boring. Okay, but we've done that. We're ready to drive. Yeah. So when you're ready, I'd like to drive on. We're going to do the POM routine. Lily Rose is very good at this. So I'm going to be quiet, let you demonstrate it. When you're ready, drive on. We're going to head in towards Central and look at your junctions. Okay? okay. Take your time. Drive on when it's safe to do so. Fantastic. Right, so there's the POM routine, prepare, observe, move, demonstrated 100 from our guest today. Right, at the end of the road, I'd like to turn right. He looks like the guy from the flat, uh, Fat Boy Slim cover. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. It does blow my mind sometimes in London that people do forget that this is like a busy road, they just walk freely. Yeah. Yeah, today I don't think people are going to oh, be thinking, even like this. thinking too straight because it's like the hottest day ever, isn't it, today? It is, yeah. So let's watch out for people, they might not be paying attention. Lovely junction, really nice. So the routine for moving off is POM and the routine for junctions is MSPSL. That stands for mirror signal, position, speed, look. That was really nice, exactly what you just did. Excellent stopping here, well done. So you've got that yellow box in front. The yellow box we're not allowed to stop in unless we're turning. Right. Yeah, really good. Five years ago, eh? You've got a good memory. <laughs> Nice defensive driving with the van there as well. Well done. Really weird how the camera on top's not overheated, but the one inside with the air conditioning is overheating. I bet it's because it's the double reflection of the glass. Oh, you re oh okay. Yeah. 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 It's hot here, isn't it? Mm. It's here, isn't it? All right. So what we're going to do is just continue to follow this road. Mm -hmm pretty much all the way down to Bayswater. Okay. We have a one-way system when we get to Bayswater. Mm -hmm. Nothing too complicated. It's where Lancaster Gate is. Yeah. And then we're going to go through Marleybone, mm -hmm. through Soho, okay. and back. Sounds and that's like it. a lot of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of junctions, yeah. a lot of stop-start, okay, lots of mirror checks. And they're, they're the foundations, they're the basics. Even people that have experience, I've had lots of people fail that have had 20 years experience and they failed at the first junction really? or they've made a mistake at a roundabout yeah. many many things so it doesn't what i'm trying to say is it doesn't matter how much experience you've got mm -hmm. you've got to have the foundations yeah and these people with many years of experience may have developed some bad habits let's say mm -hmm. so doing the mirror checks doing the blind spots checks and driving a little bit slower is something that is important for the driving test okay you did an amazing job by the way well done you're good, you just passed a solid line as it turned yellow, so it's correct to continue. Otherwise, we'd stop in the bicycle box. That's three points on your license and a fine. Potentially. Really? Potentially, okay? By the way, if anyone's new to the channel, please don't think I'm the police. I'm not, I'm just someone that passes on relevant information, so don't cancel me or anything like that. Thank you. <laughs> 
sometimes I feel like I'm a you know a bossy person and I'm, I'm yeah. not. I'm, I try my best to be as polite as I can be and just spread the news. That's all. <laughs> spread the word. Spread the word. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> All right, lovely. It's very smooth driving. You're keeping to the speed limits as well, which is really excellent. So many people, Westminster, in Westminster now, the mm -hmm. borough of Westminster, uh, is completely 20, the whole of Westminster. So that'd be easy for us to remember today because we're just going to be driving in Westminster. Um, but a lot of people might try to go a little bit over and yeah. that might crowd you or pressure us to go a bit quicker. Mm -hmm. Try not to. Stay at your speed. Don't go over speed limits. It can be tricky sometimes really good here well done so we've got signs just for buses i believe and motorbikes on our left and this side is for the cars excellent reading those signs and using the correct lane now central london is like this so yeah. many signs so when it comes to this part where we're heading through marleybone and soho in particular there'll be signs showing you where to go i will remain quiet at those moments to see how you check and see and understand where it is that we're supposed to be going. Okay. That's kind of like independent driving. Nice speed here, well done. Try to have a lean and look over to the left here, just in case there was a bus or a motorbike that may come through on the left side. Nice junction, very smooth again, well done. Cool beans, right, we're just gonna follow this road until we reach Lancaster Gate, yeah? Yeah. So not too far, but just following the road until we get there. Nice and open road. Not really a lot going on here, is there? No, I think we're quite lucky, it's a hot day and not many people are out. Yeah, I think that's true. I don't think many people are gonna be no. driving and Even yesterday out. trying to get a taxi anyway was impossible because there's nothing about. Oh, the taxis weren't working, mm -hmm. yeah. None of the trains were working either, were they? Oh, I don't know. Did they... My friend, it took him two and a half hours to get from St. John's Wood to back to um, Essex yesterday. Because there was no train. The train drivers didn't keep showing up. <laughs> he said he got them three trains. He said the train driver's not showing up. Well, welcome to London. Right, just coming up, we have a new lane on the left. Mm -hmm. Would you go to the left lane if it's safe to do so? Yeah. And then we have a traffic light on the left and it says like it's turning left, but once you reach the traffic light, you'll realize it's just straight ahead. Okay. Lovely. Okay, this is where it's gonna get more interesting now. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All right, pass the solid line again. So again, better to keep going. Yeah. You don't wanna stop in the bicycle box or on the pedestrian crossing. That okay. would be an immediate fail. Okay. Okay. Right, there's a fork here. You can go two ways, mm -hmm. left or right. I'd like you to go to the left. Do I have to signal to Yes, me? good, it would help. Excellent question. Any bicycles on the left or scooters? You mentioned no. those earlier. And if you just go straight towards the post box, and then that will take you through here on the right-hand side. Follow the road ahead, you'll reach a roundabout. I'd like you to take the second exit at the roundabout. I said we wouldn't get any roundabouts today, but this would be the only one, okay? Mm -hmm. So take your time and follow the road ahead at the roundabout, please. I hate you. <laughs> People in the hospital like, is he talking to her? <laughs> the her, I'm talking to my goddamn camera. <laughs> Just doesn't want to be my friend. Nice signal, well done. Fantastic reading the road. A lot of people get confused. They go down that side road, separate road markings just like here. So I'd like you to turn left. So this is a separate road. And I'd like you to take this road on the left and then fingers crossed. We might be able to find somewhere to pull up. So I'd like you to turn right here for me, please. Very good to the central line, excellent. Waiting until you reach the central line of the new road. Very, very good turn. You had to turn a bit earlier because of the parked vehicles. That's the exception. Mm -hmm. Fantastic turn, well done. Right, I'm gonna ask you to pull up on the right behind the Range Road or the Discovery, please. This is interesting, this manoeuvre. Continue now, because you've already crossed over to the other side. Well done. Um, crap, that was my fault. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Brilliant. And then just secure the car. So on that occasion, with an oncoming vehicle, mm -hmm. maybe the safest thing to do would just be waiting on our side. Okay. And let the oncoming vehicle pass, and then we move over and we pull up on the right. This is something we're going to do towards the end of our course. We're really going to focus on the manoeuvres. Really nice driving. We're, we're working on junctions today, moving yeah. off, stopping. It's really, really good, oh, all right? Um, 
Excellent mirrors. I did um, prompt you a little bit on one left mirror check where we had the fork by yeah. Lancaster Gate. All I'm going to get you to do now is drive, and we're going to do everything that I just recapped on the move. We'll head back to your house, and we're done. Continue to follow the road ahead. This is going to take us from W2, Connaught Street, across Edgware Road, and in towards Marleybone. Mm -hmm. So we do have some zebra poles with Belisha beacons on top. Not too sure about the pedestrians. They don't look too close, but just yeah. scan and just see, read body language. And on another note, in the heart of Marleybone here, yeah. and there's going to be plenty of signs now, you're very aware. So I don't feel like there's going to be any issues with this whatsoever. Yeah. However, if you feel like you're not sure, ask me and I will help you with directions. Okay. okay. Excellent, by the way. Well done for making your way over to the left. This is a one-way street. If we can, we use the left lane, so fantastic. Any motorbikes, bicycles, or scooters before we decided to move across to the left? No. <laughs> How did you know there was no motorbikes, bicycles, or scooters before we moved they over to the left? My well done! <laughs> Very nice here with your less space, less speed. You have emerging traffic. We're just going to continue to follow the road ahead of the traffic lights. And this is where we'll be crossing the beginning of Regent Street. Okay. You can see people do this a lot like it's okay. a normal thing. What, what's the thing? So they're getting to the junction and mm -hmm. instead of being in the correct lane, they're pulling halfway across the front of the lane. Okay, yes. Not ideal. Yeah. Um, best thing to do is to go across and then find your way around yeah. on a driving test especially because you may cause some inconvenience which we don't want on a driving test because you can fail for that okay mm -hmm. causing anyone to slow stop or swerve these are the three s's they are regarded as serious driver faults which will result in a major driver fault which is a straight up fail okay yeah. so if you did what the van did not really good the idea is for the driving test is that we keep with the flow of traffic we don't really hold up the traffic if, if we don't need to yeah. and we just try not to do anything dangerous and move out in front of other moving vehicles or dealing that's it really the second traffic light i'd like to turn right please literally terrified what those scooters are going to come out tonight. excellent mirror anybody on your right it's coming up very, very nice. nice mirror check well done that was really good he looks so serious. <laughs> well I just done. saw him coming towards me and I was like, hell no. That was good, that was good. I liked it. Okay, well done. I wasn't too sure if you were looking, to be honest, because no. your face was so serious <laughs> like this. I was like, are you looking? I'm not sure. But obviously you were, because you said it. You, you know, you vocalised what you could see. Uh -huh. Which is nice. That's called self-commentary. On another side note, if someone is inclined to do self-commentary on the driving test a lot of people ask can i yes you can oh, can you so you okay. can say oh um whatever yeah yeah fine can i ask say if i was on a driving test mm -hmm. and they gave me a direction and i missed that direction mm -hmm. would i be allowed to just make them aware and say i'm sorry i missed that direction yes okay safer okay bit like the van situation of traffic yeah. like oh i missed that one or oh, okay we'll just keep going and we can find another way around yeah. can't we cool i'd like to take the next road on the left Nice mirror checks. Oh gosh. I can see why people get the other side. Yeah, cyclists have a bad rep. I used to cycle around central London, that's why I know it, for about six years every day. Did you I, know, I like, was a courier. Oh, was you a courier? Yeah, I got hit by. London taxi in front of a police officer, I didn't press charges even though I could have and he would have lost his job. Um, I got hit by buses, um, TfL, thank you very much for not looking in your mirrors and almost killing me. Um, and also got hit by delivery vans as well, which are usually in a rush and not paying much attention. And I flew about 100 yards from here to the traffic light. Bloody hell, yeah. how are you not dead? So I'll give you one guess why I stopped doing that job. Lovely, so we've made it to Soho, <laughs> we passed through Marleybone, all right? And there'll be some signs here and some cobblestone, uh, cobblestone streets. All right, so have a look. What does it say here on our left? No left hand. Cool, which other way can we go? Right only. Fantastic, excellent approaching speed. Bit closed here. Closed means we can't see, so the visibility is quite reduced. Good peep and creep. Hello, I love camera. that word, peep and creep. Peep and creep. And here we are on the cobblestones. 
Uh, we'll know if we're on a one-way road because there'll be one-way arrows either on the lampposts or on the road showing us it's a one-way road. So if we don't have signs or road markings, we're possibly on a two-way road. Yeah. It does say road ahead closed. I'm hoping it's not the next road on the left because I'd like you to take the next road on the left. Just here, please. Good mirrors, good signal. So we don't have any one-way arrows here, so I'd assume this is a two-way road. There's the cheapest pub in London. I used to go there every day after work. John Snow, that's where all the couriers used to go. We used yeah. to race from there. All right, here we are. A lot of people fail here. What's happening? What can you see? It's stop sign, one way street. Very good. Excellent. Stop sign, what am I in America? <laughs> yeah, so you've got your no entry there, which is basically meaning stop, don't go yeah. through that way. So excellent. A lot of people don't see that. A lot of people keep trying to drive straight forwards into a no entry. So excellent. That's it, no entry. Yep. Uh, so we've got signs, road markings, a lot, a lot of junctions, a lot going on here. Your mirrors, the mirrors are really big, big um, when we've got lots of turns and junctions. So they're really nice, I like that. So we're really just ticking off your foundations today. So watch out for any delivery people uh, going up the pavement. Yeah, and it's a very narrow pavement. He might step off. This happened. Please don't go viral like Moses. It's got like six million views or something no like that. No way. So yeah, you have to scroll down. Some of my other videos have got more views, so I just pinned, I didn't pin that one on, on, my, on my TikTok page at the top. But if you scroll down, you'll see it. All right, lovely. Here we are, Pride Month. Keep the right lane if it's safe to do so. No. Good mirrors. You're very subtle with those mirror checks. Try to win the Oscar. So don't overact, but it's a little subtle be a bit more obvious. gestures. Very good for choosing this lane, in fact. So see what you have here. You've got two lanes, okay? This lane that you're in and the right lane that's next to you. Max was in this lane. Mm -hmm. But as he went ahead to turn right, he went over and into the right lane. Unfortunately, there was a vehicle there that had to react, so he got a serious driver fall. Uh -huh. So you see, we're going to go long. I mean, you can't because the Tesla's parked there, but otherwise you'd go long, you'd go through the Tesla. All right, there we go, he's moving through the Tesla there. Perfect. And that's how we do that one. Cool beans. Right, what I'd like to do is take the next left here for me. All right, and um, secure the car, push the power button, switch off. I'm gonna go and kill my camera now, um, <laughs> and then we'll probably have a little drive back to yours. 